a new book on investments needed for renewable energy powering utilities and the role of transportation plays in the equation. Um, the third book is called Renewable Energy Following the Money. And as the name suggests, it's an attempt to kind of uh, pull apart what's going on in the energy industry. If it's so important to us, and as most of us agree it is, that we develop a sustainable uh, course toward clean, renewable, inexpensive, abundant energy. If all of this stuff is so important, why are we not doing a better job with it? And the answer, as the title implies, is money. So it's a, a collection of interviews on the subject. There's, uh, there are a couple of interviews having to do with transportation, and that particularly we get into the issue of um, electric transportation and what is the uh, ensemble of events that need to take place to integrate more renewable energy onto the grid. So obviously we're looking for storage ultimately and electric vehicles and the whole V to G type of a thing represents a path through smart grid and all of this good stuff uh, to get there. So I believe that uh, for instance we're at 4% wind right now average across the United States um, and that's fine without any uh, storage, though we do have negative pricing and we do have curtailment and we do have other issues associated with the fact that the, the availability of wind and the consumption of wind don't match very well. So um, I believe that the advent of electric transportation is a big deal in integrating more wind, especially wind when you think about it, because it's low cost, the problem is simply availability and dispatchability, and electric transportation seems to me to be a good way of absorbing that excess capacity.